Welcome back to Eat Now. You can't. This is, uh, yeah. My name is Rock, and here we have Javier De La Fuente. Yes, and today we're going to review everything but the kitchen sink pizza. And uh, you might ask what that is. It's actually pepperoni, ham, bacon, sausage, green peppers, mushrooms, garlics, garlics garlic, and black olives. And then we're going to try it with anchovies on it. But, um, yeah, yeah, we don't know, <laughs> but we're gonna find out. We'll find out. <laughs> and we got it from Pizza 1905. It's a pizzeria steeped in New York traditional pizza. It's called 1905 because that is when pizza was first introduced into the United States. All right, so let's get started with this pizza. Hey, we're now in the jungle. Queroso, me tienen lavando esta ropa tan apetoso que son sucio. Fuck. It's pretty good, right? You can taste the black olives. I don't know which topping overshadows the rest. They're kind of all there. Is it a hint of garlic or a strong? There's so many different flavors, it's kind of hard to isolate. I can definitely taste the sausage. Is it too much again? It's like supreme pizza. They just left out this kitchen sink. You know? Yeah, it could have used some kitchen sink. Yeah. Listen. It's a little bit, yeah. Some ceramic flavor. Uh, or a porcelain. Yeah, porcelain would have just a little bit better. It's pretty dang. I don't know how you like to eat your pizza, but usually when I get a little bit of pizza left and mm -hmm. then the crust, I eat sideways. So mm -hmm. it's like, just get the whole Effect, you know. I eat it, I guess, the standard way, you know, just from the front to the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you know what I really like? like? I'll take one slice and put it on top of the other slice. You ever done that? And then, like that. What I do is I, I fold it sometimes. Like, you know Sabaro's pizza? Have you heard of that? Mm -hmm. they, were, they were so big that I, I don't know. You gotta fold, fold it. it and eat it, yeah. Mm. So, um, I got a little story here about you know the phrase, everything but the kitchen sink? It first originated in the Syracuse Herald, a New York paper. The first time it showed up in print was in, in, was in uh, 1918. And it said, I have, I shall rather enjoy the experience, though the stations are full of people trying to get out and the streets blocked with perambulators. Ver <laughs> <laughs> bird, bird cages, bird cages, and everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> mm. Man, that white gives you like a angelic glow. Like, look, <laughs> like you're an angel. <laughs> oh, no angel. <laughs> Fallen angel. <laughs> Isn't that Lucifer? The devil. <laughs> oh, God. He's a devil. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
This is where I get like OCD. Like I can never get the right. On the camera. Yeah, like I can never get like. Okay. Um. So yeah, this pizza I, on a scale of one to ten, what would you give this pizza? Let's say eight point nine. No I would give it a seven point five. But you can tell this is not a corporate pizza, right? You can tell mm -hmm. it's not like. A Domino's or a Papa John's, like there's something definitely, there. Definitely, definitely yeah. not a chain pizza. Yeah. Okay, so we have two slices left. So with those two slices, we're actually going to try anchovies dun, on our dun, pizza. Dun. I hate seafood. Uh, you like seafood? It's no, it's not my favorite. Yeah, fish. To me, the smell of fish once it hits my nostrils and the smell of the salty, you know, that fishy smell. I don't care how well it's cooked. <laughs> 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 Wait, don't drink it. You can't drink it. Okay, I, I, okay. Anchovies on bread actually started back in ancient Rome because it was easy to preserve with salt and oil and it was in abundance, so it's cheap, right? Uh, we're going to actually try the anchovies first individually and then put them on the pizza. So, but before we do that, we need something to mask the taste if it tastes too bad. And so we've gotten got a uh, chaser, little chaser, uh, chaser, little chaser, uh, chaser, little chaser, uh, chaser, little chaser. Uh, yeah, chaser. Uh, mango lemonade by Jones's Soda. It does taste good though. I think it does. Oh my god, it smells horrible. Oh man, why did you have to smell it? Dude, it smells disgusting. Oh. Oh, I'm pouring the juice on my car! Oh, God. oh my god, get... Dude, <laughs> no. I need a napkin. Oh, now I gotta get chew. <laughs> and chew the engine. Oh, man, this is not a good idea. <laughs> Alright, just, I'm just trying to run. Man. Damn, you got a huge one. That one looks like a Siamese yeah, fighting yeah, fish. Yeah, it's like, I think these are stuck together. Alright, one. I got my drink in. One, two, three. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, don't gag, cause I'll gag. Oh no. <laughs> he's, That's he's it, man. It game over, man. It's game over. Oh man, it tastes like the beach. Dude, that is horrible. This uh, is not going on my pizza. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh my god, it's stuck in my. No, I hate fish. I hate that's the creatures wrong. of the sea. Yeah. How do you people eat fish, man? What's wrong with you? You ruined, you ruined the pizza with this. Why? The Romans. Oh man. The Romans can have this. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> that is horrible. horrible. Man. Why would but, you eat that? But Why you would you order, put that on pizza? Yeah, you order pizza with this as the only topping. This and and what? That's it. You just yes, add man, this pizza is, with anchovies. This isn't even. This is like aliens. This is like Ridley Scott alien. Believe it or not, that's Ripley's. <laughs> <laughs> that's Ripley's, not Ridley. Ridley oh. Scott, not not Ripley. I don't know. I, I thought you said Ripley's. <laughs> I'm like, believe it or not. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Awesome. I mean, that you would do that. Dress it up. This is what you like at home, so. More? Dude, you're <laughs> I'm just gonna do one oh, more. Oh, man. Uh, you just right. call this alien pizza. So they look like leeches. How the hell do you want that inside of you? Look at that species on top of the <laughs> On top of the Oh, man, that was pizza. horrible. Man. I guess it might be an acquired taste. It is. I mean, I I really do not see how people like fish. I don't understand it. And, you know, I'm half Asian, so I shouldn't like fish somewhat. But the only fish I can stomach is, like, it's not even fish. It's calamari, if that's fried, deep fried. Mm -hmm. That's octopus. Yeah. And it's like, people are like, oh, you need to try. You need to try. I've tried it. I've tried. Now stop. I can't, I can't make myself like something I don't like. Like, Leave them alone. Yeah. I haven't heard that one. 
Yeah, they're like, they say fresh fish shouldn't smell fishy. It's a fish. Let's see what we got today to get rid of this nasty flavor. <laughs> and what we have is 7-Elevens banana cream pie. Go yum. So you can find this in many other flavors at your local 7-Eleven. And it says banana ice cream with whipped cream, flavored ribbon, and pie crust pieces. Flavored ribbon? <laughs> they put, What's that? A flavored ribbon? <laughs> they put like the... Like <laughs> they, go to, they go to Staples and they're like, you guys got ribbon? Oh, yeah. Put that in there. <laughs> Look, it's flavored ribbon. Collect them all. I can taste the banana. Mm. Good, man. You can taste the graham crackery uh, crust, yeah. banana, the cream. But this is ridiculous. I give this at a, this. I never give ten. This is a ten. <laughs> this is a ten. Yeah, like, like I say, like you eat food. Okay, food tastes good, but it tastes good for a couple seconds. Then you're left with the body. That that food has transformed your you know your, your body's transformed by what you eat, right. and that's permanent. That's like not permanent, but it's like longer last. Like people see you, like that little a little bit of flavor you have in your mind for like a few seconds. Yeah, you gotta eat in, in the next few hours. Yeah, I mean I'm not saying don't eat delicious fatty foods because you can every once in a while. I mean I do. Yeah. All of it was good, uh, except the anchovies. Yeah, don't don't do the anchovies. I mean. Unless you are just a disgusting type of person, you like disgusting things. So just do it. Yeah, unless you're like That's your brand, be disgusting. Yeah, if you're doing it as a challenge or something like that. This is Rock and Javier De La Fuente. And this has been Ian Ow. If you enjoyed the show, click like, subscribe, and tap the bell for future content.